The Ferox Enclave was one of my favourite updates to the wilderness, but it came with some confusing new mechanics which a large number of players failed to fully understand. The consequences of these players not understanding these mechanics were devastating, with some lures raking in billions in loot. The most surprising part of the lure used at the Enclave is just how simple it is. It's hard to believe that any player with items worth killing them for would fall for such a basic trick. So what exactly are the confusing mechanics of the Ferox Enclave and what is this lure which cost people billions? The Ferox Enclave is a safe zone right in the middle of the wilderness without being too deep. If it were introduced with no restrictions on who could enter, the Enclave would have flipped the balance of tanking a teleblock on its head. Tanking from pretty much anywhere would have been a piece of cake. Jagex had a simple solution. Add barriers to the Enclave and make it so teleblocked players cannot enter. This was easy to understand and it left the balance of tanking untouched. But Jagex didn't stop there. On top of this easy to understand mechanic, they also added a weird, unique mechanic to a few of the tiles surrounding the Enclave. Outside each entrance, there is a grey area where some players can be attacked and some can't. Any player who is currently affected by a teleblock can be attacked in these grey areas. All other players are completely safe, with one exception. If you attack a player who is teleblocked, that player can then retaliate. In essence, these mechanics are basic and easy to understand. The problem is that they are totally unique to a very small number of tiles throughout the entire game, and fully understanding them takes about 10 seconds longer than the average attention span of a bond buyer. Many players simply think of these areas as entirely safe, or they believe that they are only ever at risk if they get teleblocked out in the wilderness first. So how does this end with people getting lured? <clears throat> Today's video is sponsored by Mech Arena. Mech Arena is a new, fast-paced, casual shooter, perfect for having a quick bit of fun without having to sink your life into a game. In seconds, you can jump into a match with other players and just start blasting. There are tons of unique mechs, weapons, and skins to choose from, as well as a variety of different game modes and maps to keep things interesting. Slow and tanky, nimble and fragile, there are limitless combinations of mechs, weapons, and abilities to best suit how you like to play. Mech Arena just had the huge Mechs Are Here event where they raised $100,000 for charity, and on December 20th, pilots will be released, introducing 12 completely unique pilots to choose from and customize. On top of that, there are three brand new 2v2 deathmatch maps and a schedule filled to the brim with holiday events. Mech Arena is completely free to play on Android and iOS. Use my link in the description or the QR code you see on screen to get 50,000 credits, three gold crates, and an exclusive Mechs Are Here event skin just for taking part. Grab the game now and add me with my friend code shown on screen. I am bad. So how does this end with people getting lured? in the dumbest way imaginable. Lures teleblock their own account so that it can be attacked in these grey areas. Then they drop a bunch of valuable items and hide their character on the same spot. When a greedy player comes along to try and take the free stuff, the player ends up clicking to attack the Laura who is stood on that same spot. Not only does the player not get whatever valuable items they were trying to yoink, they get sculled and then killed somewhere they believed was completely safe. It should go without saying that if you see a pile of expensive items just beyond a glowing red barrier which is surrounded by skulls on spikes, it's probably a scam. But the truth is, some players are simply beyond help, and Jagex's attempt at helping them by making these entrances less brutal and deadly resulted in more complacency on the part of many players. The first time that I teleported into the Enclave and saw a pile of items outside the barrier, I thought, that looks sketchy and right-clicked. What do you know? A player right there ready to kill me. But this gave me an idea. If these guys had to drop those items and then just sit there waiting for someone to show up, that would give me plenty of time to scout them and log in underneath them with enough gear to spec them out. So I grabbed whatever gear I had in my bank and decided to give it a try. Oh my god. Did you see that? You've got to be kidding me. On my first ever attempt, I didn't get the kill, but I did get damn close. And this near miss had me determined to get at least one kill on one of these lures. So I continued to hop around for the next few hours, going for a kill at every chance I got.
<laughs> Damn it, man. How did... <laughs> that was embarrassing. To start with, I was using a granite maul into Darox with low HP, but soon enough, I overstayed my welcome, got tally blocked, and ended up losing my last Darox set. Rather than doing the sensible thing and re-gearing in a better setup, I decided to leave my success in the hands of the gods. I started rushing the lures using only a granite maul. If my chances of success were low before, they were now non-existent, but I really didn't want to buy another Darox set, so it was more or nothing. <laughs> oh, damn it, man. Oh. Are you relying on the triple G mall to work? Uh, yeah. And it'll work, Kevin. You shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> you got him! Oh my god, you actually got him! Thank you very much. Oh my god. Oh man, that's so much loot. Oh. <laughs> yes, believe it or not, the triple mall with rune gloves actually ended up working and the loot was amazing. By some crazy stroke of luck, I logged in right as the lure was dropping a fury to the ground to bait people. So on top of killing him for all of the items on his person, I even managed to snag a second amulet of fury from the ground. That was incredible. You got two furies out of it because he was trying to do the old- 14.1 mil, that's mad. Despite this miraculous success, Framed insisted that I upgrade and use a claws to maul combo to improve my chances. Now knowing how much these lures could be risking, I happily upgraded and went straight back to scouting. Yep, get this bitch. <gasps> oh. oh my gosh. I that fucked was, up! That was it! That was it! I actually reeks at this. Oh. Oh. Okay, here we go. Son of a bitch, how was that five minute? Got you, fucker. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh. oh, man. That wasn't even a very good hit. Look at his HP. Every time. Ah. Oh. My new and improved setup was getting me nowhere. At least, that was how it felt. Between each attempt, I was scouting for well over an hour more often than not. And all that time with all of those failures left me feeling just a bit demoralized. But I'd also been so close on so many of those attempts that I couldn't give up just yet. Yes! Oh my goodness, finally! Ah. DFS on the ground, what a beautiful sight. That is 6.9 mil. Son of a bitch. Here we go. Damn it, man. I messed it up. No, I didn't. Finally. What do we get? Not much. Yes! Oh my god, I went for the swing after enough. Oh. Look, oh, beautiful. So beautiful, seeing the orange items in the stack. <laughs> right, let's see how much monies that is. 4.5 mil, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna do the, the YouTuber roundup. This guy risks bank. Look at that loot, man! Why did I have to mess it up? Look at that gear! Oh my god, got him again! With the <gasps> whack! Oh. oh my god. I feel bad. It's like bullying. 
I fucked up. <gasps> oh my god, I still got him! Dude, what on earth? Panicked. He, he just tried to get in. He tried to. He, he tried fully to leave panicked. The Jeez Louise. And that is about how my time rushing these lures went. I wish I had an epic kill for the finisher, but after hunting these guys for days and days, the lures who risked anything worth peeking started to brew up and were well prepared for my rushes. It's not often that the first kill I get with a method ends up being by far the biggest loot, but there was nothing which came close to topping that original 14 mil PK. And the fact that I got it with a triple mole whack was just the icing on the cake. By the time that you guys are seeing this video, these kills are already a few months old, and it seems like the recent anti-skull tricking update has done away with the last of this lure. I could be wrong, but I wasn't able to find anyone still trying it. But if there's anything you should take away from the fact that this lure was ever something which could happen, there will always be a group of people that see items on the ground in the wilderness and think, yeah, I think I'll take those.